fantastic job that I think there is in the Air Force. I think it's the best job in the Air Force, bar none. I think it's the best job over here. I, I really like the idea of saving people. This was my uh, first combat save as an aircraft commander, and uh, it's what I wanted always to do uh, since I've been over here. It's uh, just a super fantastic feeling. <laughs> The rescue of downed airmen in hostile territory is a dramatic story in itself. More importantly, it typifies the deep concern the Air Force has for its people. That's what this film is all about. People caring for people. How are you feeling now? A little tired, but I'm really happy to be back. What do you think of the rescue people? Yeah, those guys are fantastic. They uh, they really got their uh, stuff together because uh, I think I would, wouldn't have bet my last dollar that they wouldn't be around. And uh, they put that thing right in the trees just about to get me out. And actual rescue recovery, why we're the force that actually goes in right smack into where he's hanging in the trees in some cases or where he's down deep in the jungle. And our flight crews, such as the flight engineers and the PJs we have in the back, are really a great bunch of guys. As far as the job pararescue men here, we're gunners, we're medics. We go down on the ground to get the survivor. We stay with the survivor if we have to. And I direct the pilot over to the survivor, lower the penetrator, and uh, tell the pilot what's going on all the time. Let him know what I'm doing. And then uh, when the survivor gets on the penetrator and everything, gives me a thumb up indication, I start bringing him up. I, these guys right here, they're desperately working to get this aircraft back ready to go on a mission. Uh, they're the primary reason that we can get it in the air and take it up there and bring them back. It's our job to provide the protection for the Jolly Green Giants. And to do it, we use this A-1. Our job's pretty exciting, but it's also pretty dangerous. We protect the helicopter while he's in the very vulnerable position of hovering over the survivor. If somebody starts shooting, we immediately start shooting back. During a SAR, there's generally a FAC in the area that becomes the first on-scene commander. When the whole effort is over, when the nail or the FAC, the Sandy and the Jolly have all done their thing, and Jolly gets that man aboard, it's a pretty good feeling. I was in clouds all the way down to the ground, just about, and uh, when I landed, uh, that was part of my first thoughts, too, was uh, I better be prepared to stay here for a while because uh, there's not even gonna be a way they can come in and get you out. Six is down right over here on the other side of the trail. Caution advisory lights. Check. Engine instruments. Check. B has started. Generators on. Safety belt and shoulder harness. Pass the pilot. Pass the cold on. Pass an engineer, park the brakes. Reset. Landing gear position indicators. Check. Second stage utility pressure. Check. AMCS. On. Deep are open, engine fuel control levers. Open. Number two engine. Starting two. Take off clearance. Has been received and well on. Taxi now. Travel checklist complete. Thank you.
Here at Rescue Control Center, they have radio contact with all the aircraft out in the search and rescue area to keep all the forces organized to try to bring back home as many of these people as possible when they get shot down. After the, uh, the aircraft blew up around me, uh, I uh, thought I was dead, dead at first right there. You, you get that feeling, uh, all of a sudden you're just dead. And uh, when I got on the ground, I uh, thought about that and uh, what I was going to do next. And uh, my, uh, my wife and my dog back home and my house. And uh, you know, it just kind of pushes you on a little bit. You, know, you figure you made it that far, you were, uh, you're going to get back OK. to see a helicopter that quick. And, uh, it's a pretty looking, pretty looking thing when you're standing down there and he comes in there. Up here at Jolly High, you're just about a half mile away from the survivor right now. Let down and hit due east and down hit We're going down as fast as we can go. This thing won't go any faster. Okay, for it, that's the boy. Hey, you guys, keep it open. Keep your eyes open. West to the high cars. Okay, gang, keep it moving. Check my instruments. Is everything okay? Sandy zero two copies. Roger, Roger copy. Everything is looking fine. Zero three. You're going to walk straight ahead about 400 meters. Okay, Charlie, straight ahead. Straight ahead. Three right there, you. Straight ahead on the top of the ridge line. Go ahead. I got the. Oh, I got him. Below the train. Go okay, ahead. we got the smoke. Right, babe. Go get him. Okay, just stand by, babe. We're coming in to get you. Stand by. Keep going, Charlie. Guys, or anything in the area? Did you see anything on your way down? Uh, that might give us a big hassle on uh, getting you. Uh, Roger, there's uh, quite a bit of action there. Uh, there's quite a bit of action there. Uh, there's quite a bit of action there. Okay, survivor appears to be injured. I'm going to put a PJ on. I'm getting a PJ on up there. We're going to send him down. PJ's at the door. Thank you. 